we're saying that based on the resources that are available in a society or in a global context, the, so when we talk about structural violence, we're looking at things like unemployment rate, um, level of access to the health care that you need, access to the, the food that you need to take care of yourself, the, the, the quality of access you have to housing. These things kill more people than the people that die as a result of street crime or criminals taking action against them. So structural violence affect African people in Canada at a, at a higher rate than whites in society. And if we are comparing working class whites to working class Africans, again, you will see us on the negative side of those statistics and experience. So it's very, very real when we talk about anti-African racism in Canadian society. And, and it's there because when you look and say, okay, what could account for this? You're gonna see race and class factors at work. 